Oh, understandably very excited. What an opportunity to, to, to bring a Northern Ireland side to Australia to play in a World Cup. Uh, it's been a, a long time developing the squad and this is, you know, it's like a just rewards for the dedication and effort that the squad's been in. Yeah, well, that's it. They're international footballers representing Northern Ireland, part of the Irish FA. Um, this has been a great reception. Um, a lot of thanks to Kelly, um, the MLA, for putting it on. There's been a lot of great people in, in here tonight uh, from all walks of sport. And uh, yeah, the, I know the squad is feeling very supported and they're excited to go and do the country proud. The rise of power chair in Northern Ireland has been unbelievable. We did literally start with milk crates on day chairs back in 2010. That's come from a lot of support, um, a lot of people to thank. Uh, Disability Sport Department of Communities, the Irish FA Foundation, um, but the main people behind it are actually the players themselves. You know, um, I work on all levels of football, and the dedication that these boys have is is beyond what I've worked with in, in mainstream football. So, uh, yeah, no, listen, it, it's it's a wonderful opportunity for them, and it's one that I fully believe they deserve, and hopefully they go and do themselves proud. Buzzing, buzzing in a word. Nervous but excited. I think, I think it's really natural to be nervous. Uh, you're going to the World Cup, but uh, we're looking forward to it and we're, and we're prepared. So, yeah, can't wait to go out there. Yeah, no, I think I think it, it speaks volumes to the Irish Football Association and the football for all. Uh, we're all playing for an Iron and we're all an Iron team. So, to get this recognition from, from the IFA, Disability Sport NI, and, and ultimately our MLAs has been great and it, and it gives us real uh, a real bounce when going out to Australia now. Um, I think I've, I've answered that question quite a lot. Everyone, everyone's wanting uh, wanting me to, to say we're going to win it, and uh, that would be that would be uh, an absolute shock. But I think ultimately it's our first World Cup, and, and we we'll have to go out there and uh, soak up the atmosphere, soak up the experience, and, and hopefully get a few good results. But ultimately, as long as we give our all, that's all we can do. And, and, and I know the players are, are looking forward to it. It's, it's fundamental with it. The, the men go into the Euros 2016 with the women's at the Euros. These are international footballers. That's what they are. They're very proud of being that. It's great that our government partners, and particularly Kelly Armstrong, can give us the opportunity. It's a fabulous building. It's a great setting. It's lovely to meet all the families and for them to show how proud they are in the same way that we are of the international footballers that we're sending to Australia. We're so proud of them. They are going to take the Northern Ireland flag. They're going to take it around the world and uh, we are going to uh, enjoy their exploits in the Power Chair World Cup. Well, if you go back to 1908, when we wrote our Memorandum of Association, it said we were there to promote, foster and develop football for all. And here we are 115 years later and we're still doing the same thing. What that means to me is it doesn't matter who you are in Northern Ireland, what your ability is, what you can do, what you can't do. If you want to play football, we need to be there for you. And I think that's what we try and do every day.